What is going on everybody TechSusiast here and in this video I'm going to show you how to import save files into EtherSX2. For this tutorial we need to have PCSX2 emulator for Windows, MyMC which is a PS2 memory card image utility and PS2 game saves and I'll show you where you can grab them from. Firstly I'm going to head over to the official website of PCSX2, make sure you have the correct link, click on download. I'm using Windows so I'm going to click on Windows. There are two files here so go for the standard installer. I'm not going to download it now as I already have it installed. Next we're going to head over to my MC web page. So again make sure you have the correct link. This app allows you to use save files which are in Max Drive, EMS, Sharkport, Export and Codebreaker format which you can directly import into a PlayStation 2 memory card image which is in .ps2 format. So scroll down to the bottom of the page, make sure you download the Windows version and at the time of this video 2.6 is the latest version. For save files we're going to head over to GameFAQs and this website is amazing. It has reviews, tutorials, cheats and obviously save files. Now to find your game you can click on uh, Alpha and find the letter or you can use other categories. So I'm looking for Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3. So here it is. So I'm going to click on saves. So once you're on this page, you're going to find a bunch of save files in different formats. So you want to make sure that the region matches with the game you have. Otherwise it won't work. And for me, I found that Max Drive formats work the best. So here you can also see a description of what the save file contains. And on the left side is the download link and they come in the raw format so you don't have to unzip it or anything like that. Next we're going to use PCSX2 for Windows. Make sure it is already configured with the BIOS. We're going to click on config memory cards and you can see there are two memory cards here. And then when we head over to format it says no. This is very important as it must say no or you will get an invalid error message. We can go ahead and click on cancel, click on CDVD, select no disk, click on system, boot BIOS. Now this is very nostalgic and I'm sure everyone who had a PS2 will remember this. There are two options here, click on browser, then you'll see two memory cards. Select the first memory card. It will say unformatted format now. Tap left on the D-pad and select yes. Then you will get a message saying it has been formatted. Now you can exit PCSX2. Before moving on to the next step, make sure you have 7-zip or WinRAR installed. Now we're going to set up my MC. Right click and extract it to a folder. You will get this option on 7-zip and WinRAR. Open up the folder and open my MC and then you'll be prompted to open the memory card so browse for it. This should be in your documents folder. So we're going to use memory card 1 and then click on the next icon here. Now find your save file, in my case it's on the desktop. And you can actually open up multiple save files. So click on control and then select the files. Click on open. And that's it. The save files have been imported onto the memory card. Now you can also use this on PCSX2 straight away. Now to use this on EtherSX2 you will have to transfer the save file to your phone. Now before we import the save file over I'm just going to boot up Dragon Ball Z. Budokai Tenkaichi 3 so you can see the save progress. So I'm going to head over to the story mode, the dragon history and you can see that the Saiyan Saga is the only selectable saga here and on the achievement ratio it is 0%. Now to play it safe we're going to back up our save file. So go into your file explorer, select Android data, then scroll right to the bottom for EtherSX2 files and scroll down and mem cards so you can either copy it to your pc or you can copy it onto your phone 
Now in my case, I'm going to put it in my download folder. I would have put it into the internal storage, but I've got the save file from PCSX2 there. Now open up EtherSX2, click on the navigation drawer, scroll down to import memory card. Now find your save file and then select it and you would get a warning message. Select which slot to import this memory card to or cancel. Any saves in this selected slot will be lost. Please double check before continuing. On PCSX2, I selected slot 1, so here I will choose slot 1. Then you should see a toast message where it says memory card 1 imported. Now I will open up my game which is Dragon Ball Z and I will speed up the video here so we don't have to go through the intro. Now I'm back into Dragon History and here you can see Saiyan Saga and all of the sagas are unlocked including characters and if you see on the top right you can see 100% achievement. There you have it, this is how you import game saves into Ether SX2. So that does it for this video, if you have found it useful give it a thumbs up. If you are new here then please do consider subscribing as I have more videos coming up. So make sure you hit that bell icon so you get notified as soon as I release my videos. Please do follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And like always, thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.